ओके ओके सो लेट अस स्टार्ट योर स्नैप इंटरव्यू फॉर दी ट्रांसफर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ओके सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द रेडिएशन पार्ट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल जस्ट टेल मी व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दी सरफेस रेजिस्टेंस एंड स्पेस रेजिस्टेंस हाउ यू डिफाइन दीस टू रेजिस्टेंस सरफेस एंड स्पेस हां सरफेस रेजिस्टेंस इज ड्यू टू दी फॉर अ फॉर अ ब्लैक बॉडी सरफेस रेजिस्टेंस विल बी जीरो बट ड्यू टू uh for a uh, normal surface there will be a resistance uh, due to reflectivity and uh, uh, emissivity of the body that is called surface resistance and uh, for a space resistance uh, uh the orientation of the uh, two bodies will decide how much uh, heat tra- net heat is transferred from one body to another body uh, it is uh, inversely proportional to uh, uh, view factor okay Let us suppose if you have a cube. Okay, just draw a diagram of a cube. Okay, and mark the bottom surface as one, top surface as two, bottom as one, top as two, left and right as three, left and right as three, uh, and front and. It is and, a rectangular cube, right? No, no. It is a simple cube. It is a simple cube. Cube, cube. Yes, cube. Let okay. me draw a diagram. Okay. Is my screen visible to you? Two. No. Uh, Is my screen yes, visible sir. to you? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So see here. Here I have I have a cube like this. Okay. Mm-hmm. So here what I am doing? I am just marking the bottom surface as point number one, the top as point number two, the left and right as point number three, and the front and back as a point num as a point four. Okay. Okay. So now, just draw a network diagram of it, uh, showing all the resistances between the surfaces. Between the surfaces. Yes. If the uh, if all of these points are maintaining at are maintained at a different temperature, let us say that one number is maintained at a temperature of T T one, and the two is maintained at a temperature of T two, and similarly T three and T four. Then show me what will be the network diagram. Okay. Uh, sir, uh, it is for uh, radiation heat transfer, right, sir? Yes, radiation heat transfer. Bottom as one, top as two, left and right as three, front and back as four. Unmute. Sir. Sir, power 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 outage. Sir, can you hear me right now? Yes, yes, everything is okay. It's okay. Sir, okay, I, uh, I to tell you, me. Sir. Yes, sir. Now it, it, it's okay. Don't worry. Okay, tell me some of the properties really of the radiation shields. What are the characteristics? Yes. Uh, for radiation shields, it should have a uh, high reflectivity. And a uh, high emissivity also. Okay, and what about the um, transmissivity and the absorptivity? Uh, transmissivity should be very less, and absorptivity also should be very less. Transmissivity, transmissivity, and absorptivity should be very less. Okay, so but don't you think that uh. If the transmissivity, if the emissivity of the body is very high, in that case, the corresponding absorptivity is also going to be very high. Uh, sir, uh, I mean emissivity should be less. Emissivity should be less. It should be less. Uh, for okay. uh, for uh, for hmm. shield uh, the. Sir, uh, for uh, how can you how can you change the emissivity of a surface? Um. Let us suppose if you want to vary the absorptivity and the emissivity of a radiation shield itself. Let us say, okay. Then one method, what what method can you opt? Uh, sir, uh, coating a uh, mirror-like uh, surface finish, uh, uh, surface, mm-hmm. and uh, a very smooth mm-hmm. surface will uh, increase the uh, reflectivity of the surface, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, for better emissivity. Uh, uh, a better emissivity we can uh, sorry i don't okay 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 have you seen the uh, aircraft 
Yes, sir. Just tell me one thing. If the aircraft is moving through the atmosphere, in that case, at a, at a very high speed, okay. okay, and if the temperature at the top top is very less, because as you see, uh, uh, with the increase in latitude, what is happening? With the increase in altitude, the temperature is going to be decreased. Okay. Yes, sir. So, if the temperature above the Earth's surface is in is very low, in that case, why do we require the aircraft refrigeration system? Aircraft. Uh, sir. Yeah. Why do we require a higher aircraft refrigeration system? And sir, first of all, the uh, temperature is uh, very low. Uh, so, in order to uh, maintain a uh, uh, sir, there will be high uh, radiation heat coming from the uh, sun. Mm -hmm. So, even in that case, uh, inside the uh, tem inside the temperature will be uh, much higher if, if there is no air condition is provided. Okay. And uh, atmosphere pressure is all, all. Okay. Okay. Uh, what are the heat exchangers, and where do you find its applications? What are heat exchangers? Sorry, sir. What are heat exchangers, and where do you find its application? Huh. Uh, sir, heat exchangers are uh, devices used to transfer heat from uh, higher temperature surface to low temperature fluid. Mm -hmm. It's basically used in uh, steam turbine. Uh, it can be uh, used in uh, jet engines uh, for the regenerative purpose. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, how do you define the effectiveness of a heat exchanger? Effectiveness. effectiveness. Yes. Uh, effectiveness is okay. effectiveness is the ratio of actual heat transfer to the mm. uh, maximum possible heat transfer can be occurred. Maximum possible heat transfer, so which can occur. Okay. And uh, how do you calculate the maximum possible heat transfer of a heat exchanger? Maximum possible uh, heat transfer uh, for the heat exchanger. Uh, we, yes, yes, uh, it is the uh, product of uh, minimum uh, heat capacity rate into uh, maximum temperature difference between hot and the cold fluid. Just repeat. Uh, uh, it is the yes. product of uh, minimum mm -hmm. temperature, uh, minimum thermal uh, capacity mm -hmm. to maximum temperature difference between hot and cold food. Okay, okay. Uh, tell me the relationship between the effectiveness and the NTU. Okay, let us say for the case of boiler. Boiler. Yeah. Sir, can I write? Yes, yes, yes. Sir, can I show? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, one minus one minus one minus okay. uh, exponential mm -hmm. negative NQ. Okay, and what does the NTU represents? Uh, sir, it represents number of transfer units. It is the mm -hmm. uh, ratio of uh, heat transfer. Uh, sorry, heat uh, transfer coefficient. Uh, mm -hmm. Divided by uh, minimum heat capacity of the fluid. Okay, and what what are the governing parameters which influence the free convection as if, as well as the force convention? Uh, for force to convention, uh, governing parameters are Nessel number and the Prandtl number. And uh, for uh, free convention, uh, it is uh, Grashof number and the Prandtl number. Okay, so don't we uh, calculate the Nessel number in the case of free convection? Uh, sorry. So don't we calculate the Nessel number in the free convection? Yes, sir. Yes, mm -hmm. Nessel number is calculated based on pressure of number and Prandtl. Yeah, so basically, if you see the case of force convection, the uh, governing parameters are Renault number and Prandtl number, not the Nessel number and Prandtl number. Okay, and in the case of free convection, the governing parameters are the Grashof number and the Prandtl number. Okay, yes, yeah, that's just understand. Let us suppose if you have a pipe. Okay, if you have a simply a pipe in which the fluid is okay. flowing. Now assume that the temperature of the fluid is very high as compared to the pipe surface temperature. 
in that case, what will be the temperature profile okay. and what will be the velocity profile if the flow is not enough? The flow Just show is me the velocity. After the, uh, yes. The flow is laminar. Velocity profile. Yes. The flow is laminar and the and surface temperature of the pipe. Yes, it is fully developed. And the surface temperature of the pipe is less than the fluid temperature. In that case, what will be the velocity profile at the temperature profile? Surface temperature is higher than the fluid temperature. Surface, right? surface temperature is lower than the fluid temperature. Is lower than the fluid temperature. Fluid has a higher temperature. Okay. Now tell me, uh, how does the heat transfer coefficient vary in this case along the length of the pipe? How does the so, heat transfer uh, coefficient vary with this? Heat transfer Ah, for fully developed uh, flow, heat transfer coefficient will remain constant. Okay, and what will happen if I increase the velocity of the fluid? Now, what changes you are going to see in the temperature file as well as the in the case of in the velocity file? Uh, sir, well, uh, sir, in case of uh, fully developed laminar flow, uh, even if the velocity is increased, the uh, no, now the velocity is very very high. Now the velocity is very, very, very high, high. It's but yeah, it is turbulent. Now, what changes you are going to see in the velocity profile, temperature profile, and the heat transfer coefficient along the length of the pipe. Okay. Uh, so our velocity profile will flatten out uh, mm. easily so due to the better mixing, and same will happen to mm. uh, temperature profile also. Due to better mixing, uh, the temperature profile will be uh, okay. flat. And what will be the variation of heat transfer coefficient along the length of the pipe? Uh, sir, in that case also, heat transfer coefficient uh, will remain same. Heat transfer coefficient will remain same. Okay. Okay, are you sure? What is the formula of the Nusselt number in order, uh, and the... Oh, okay, sir. Uh, uh, sorry, sir. I, sorry, I what is the relationship between the nasal number and old and pentel number in the case of turbulent flow through the pipe? Okay, then according to this formula, how the heat transfer coefficient is varying with the length? Uh, sir, according to this formula, uh, the transfer coefficient will be increased as the velocity increased. Is it's sir. increased. Are you sure? No, no, sir. It is uh, uh, as the velocity for velocity increase, there will be increase in tensile number. But since the uh, uh, Reynolds number and Fandel number remains constant uh, throughout mm -hmm. the uh, fluid motion, tensile number remains constant. Mm -hmm. Uh, in okay, a pipe just, flow. just tell in me that heat transfer coefficient is decreasing. According to this relationship, heat heat transfer coefficient is decreasing along the length of the pipe. Yes or no? What do you think? In the sir, turbulent flow. Uh, sir, uh, the, sir, there will be a uh, reduction in gradient as it goes through the uh, pipe flow pipe. So, uh, biologically, there will be a reduction. Uh, as the uh, flow takes place, uh, the temperature of the fluid and the temperature of the uh, pipe will uh, in come to an thermal equilibrium. Uh, mm -hmm. So, there will be a reduction in uh, Heat also temperature goes. gradient at the surface of the mm -hmm. uh, temperature gradient at the surface of the uh, you know, so, Maybe there is a possibility of reduction in that trend. I am not sure, sir. Okay. okay, so we let it parameter feedback. See, first of all, you don't uh, don't need to get nervous. Okay, well, if you answer the question, because the answer which you are providing is almost correct. Okay. okay. You just have to be remain confident with confident with your answers. Okay. If you are saying something, just be confident okay. that you are saying correct. Okay. So see, 
when i asked it okay. uh, asked it what will be the temperature while in that case the temperature will be just fine in the case of lagnar as well as the case of sublet flow correct there is no need to worry about that both in the both uh, lagnar flow as well as the sublet flow pipe sorry in uh, both the velocity as a sublet in both the velocity and the temperature file both are good there is no need to worry here now in this case of lagnar flow what is happening the heat transfer probably is going to be remain uh, remain constant why so because the nusel number is constant here that is 4.36 or 3.66 In that case, the heat transfer coefficient is not changing in the developed, fully developed region, but it is decreasing in the developing region. So we are not dealing with the uh, developing region here. Okay, but now in the case of a turbulent flow, if you see the relationship which I have given me, in that case, the heat transfer coefficient is is going to be decrease along the length of the pipe. Okay, it has to be decreased. Uh, sir, uh, sir, I have a doubt, sir. Uh, we are calculating the Reynolds number. The characteristic length is uh, not along the. Uh, So, see, first of all, I, but but I have told you that if the fluid is flowing at a very high velocity, if the fluid is flowing at a very high velocity, in that case, the Reynolds number is going to be very very high. Yes, sir. Yes, okay, sir. and if you see the Nusselt number formula, it is the H D by K, H X by K. Sorry, in that case, if you calculate okay. the value of the variation of the H with respect to X, you will get that H H will be uh, is directly proportional to the sorry H is directly proportional to the X to the power minus something. Okay, so from here sir, you can see. Uh, sir, I have a doubt. Yes. Sir, here yes, yes, yes. Uh, X is uh, sir, but here uh, in pipe flow, capacitive length is not X, right? Sir? It is uh, no. diameter of the pipe. Yeah, in that case, diameter of the pipe. Okay, yes, yes, yes. That is okay. Yes, yes. You are saying that you are correct here. Okay. Ah, uh, that capacitive uh, length is going to be equal to D here. Okay, and the answer H is directly proportional to the X to the power four by five here. Okay, that means the heat transfer coefficient has to be increased with the x here. Okay. Uh, no, sir. That is in the case of uh, external flow, right? No. In, for in internal case flow, of, in course of a pipe, in case of a uh, flow over a flat plate. Okay. In that case, uh, the heat yes, transfer sir. coefficient decreases with the x. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes, okay. Uh, in the case uh, of a uh, heat uh, transfer uh, coefficient here, the relationship is inverse. Why? Because the H is here. The Nusselt number is defined by the H D by K, and correspondingly, the the null number is going to be equal to the D zero by mu. Okay. Oh yes. Yeah. Sir. There is no yes. dependence between. Yes. X no. No. Just. Just. See, just. See, just. See. Yeah. But I would like to tell you. Here. Just do that. Is my screen visible to you? Uh, no. No. Yes, sir. Just, just wait. Just wait. Okay. Just. Okay, so see, uh, see here, the formula is something. We have a formula something like that. Nusselt number is going to be equal to Reynolds number to the power yes, n, Reynolds number to the power n. Okay, so here we have a S D by K, and the Reynolds number is going to be equal to a D V rho by mu here. Okay, so now what is happening? First okay. of all, because as the fluid is flowing through our uh, through our pipes, in that case. If you recall the value that how the heat transfer is taking place through the pipe into the fluid, in that case, the H is equal to minus K dT by dx to the power T not minus T infinity. From here, okay. I can see. Okay, this is a similar expression which we study in the case of a flow through a flow over a flat plate. Okay, so in this case, as you are flow as you are moving to work as you are moving to work left to right. So here the dt by dx is continuously decreasing. So with the decrease in the dt by dx, the actual value of the h has to be decreased continuously. That means the heat transfer coefficient has sir, to be decreased. Uh, sir, I have a doubt. Sir, I have a yes, doubt. Yes, again, yes, sir. Hmm. Sir, I. Continue. Sir, uh, since the uh, in bottom uh, also decreasing, then uh, both yes. of them cancel, right, sir? No, so no, no. We calculate no. t it, mean minus t infinity. It, it, right, it is sir? a so, it is a circular pipe, na? It is a circular pipe. It is not a uh, two plates. Okay. It is a circle. You cannot can you cannot cancel out. Yes, hey, hey, sir. I understand, sir. Uh, mm -hmm. Sir, sir. Dt by dx is uh, decreasing. So, uh, sir, uh, on the same hand, the uh, uh, yes. t minus t infinity also increases, decreases, sir. Yes. In the denominator, also yes. going to decrease, sir, because t is t. It is we calculate uh, local uh, uh, sorry heat transfer coefficient. Uh, based on uh, t mean minus t infinity, right, sir? So t mean also going no, to be decreasing. No, 
In this case, I am not. I am not taking a case of a let uh, because here I have told you that the mean temperature of a fluid is very high as compared to the uh, pipe temperature. In that case, as the fluid is flowing, okay. the corresponding mean temperature has to be decreased here of the fluid yes, because there is a continuously heat transfer taking place from the fluid to the outside surface. Yes, okay, sir. so here the heat transfer coefficient will be decreased as the fluid is flowing through the horizontal pipe because the value of the dt by dt is continuously decreasing here. Okay. Okay. As okay. the fluid is flowing from the left to the right, initially the value of dt by dx at this point a point at point number a is going to be very high, but at point number b it is going to be very very low. Okay. So okay, so, that's so the doubt was because ah mm -hmm. uh, so doubt was because denominator also going to be the uh, difference. This denominator. Ah, uh, t infinity. Okay. This t, one. T ah uh, that you know ah uh, these are yes. also going to be reduced. Yes, uh, so both. Both uh, numerator and major, denominator. But, going but to the be major impact of uh, but the major impact is going okay, to be sir, okay. of okay. this parameter only. Okay, okay sir. Sir, what about the plane case, sir? Yes. In the uh, case sir, of plane, you ask about a, a plane, plane, aeroplane. Okay. So see, actually, sir, flight, uh, there is a air conditioning. See, with the increase in the latitude, what is happening? There will be a corresponding temperature drop, even though the temperature is decreasing. But the, there will be a lot of heat radiation taking place inside the in, inside the aircraft. Why so? Because due okay, to the sorry. drag forces which is exerting on the surface, and due to the increase okay. uh, temperature of the aircraft, we need a aircraft refrigeration system to cool down the cabin. Okay, sorry. okay. So that is the answer to that question. And in the case of a radiation shield, uh, in the case of a radiation shield, first of all, you have to understand. Uh, that the emissivity, the answer which you are giving me is almost correct. The emissivity has to be very very low in that case, and the corresponding absorptivity and the transmissivity has to be very very less. Okay, and by increasing the smooth, by increasing the smoothness, you are increasing the reflectivity of the body. Okay, so that is very very okay. important. Okay, okay, so just do one thing. Just okay. uh, my suggestion is that just remain confident with your answer. There is no need to worry. Okay, don't get confused. Just remain confident. Okay, I'll stick with your answers. Okay. Okay, everything else okay. is. Yes, sir.